right to do so. You can carry it, you know, statutes that. Yeah. Do you, do you personally open carry often? I don't. No, sir. No. no. I don't. You know, and my the real reason in my case is because of department policy. Okay. Right. You department can't. policy, I'm falling under that. If I'm carrying, even if I'm carrying off duty, I'm supposed to have my handgun concealed. But that's our department policy. Oh, really? Not state law. Not state law. Okay. Other departments may or may not be different. Yeah, that's way it goes. Well, let me let me ask you since we're on film, sure. if you mind, since the way that I'm carrying my rifle right now, yes, sir. As long as it stays like this, even if somebody calls and says that they were alarmed, I haven't broke any laws. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. No. Just, like I said, the the statute says if you intentionally or knowingly carry it in a public place in a manner calculated to alarm. Right. I'm familiar with weapons. You guys have them slung on your back. You know, obviously, if you're calling the police and you're setting this up, you're not a criminal. Well, I don't. we like to call the police sure. first because you know, the first thing I want to do is remove reasonable suspicion. Because I'd rather that. you come out here and let's have this talk first than, yes. you, than the SWAT team show up. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I understand. It's very important that there is always a chance of somebody calling the police. Yes. Sir. And what they tell you on the phone cannot always be guaranteed to be what's happening. Yes, sir. So if you show up out here expecting an armed assailant inside causing havoc, sure. then obviously that situation has already presented itself. What is it called? What is it called where if somebody just called out of the blue and said, there's a guy with a gun in the store, what is the response to that? Is like code one, code two, or what is the official? Well, like the dispatchers when you're are getting, the call takers will take the call, and of course they're going to ask questions. I've never been a dispatcher, but they're going to ask. Well, what's he doing with the gun in there? They should ask. They should. Oh, he's walking around. He's got it swung on his back. Well, is he pointing it? Is he threatening anybody? You know, you would think would be logical questions that I would hope the call taker would ask. Uh, if the thing is that you're walking around and you've got a rifle, long arm, swung over your shoulder, and you're not doing any more than that, it's not a violation of law. Right. Well, what would be the, just say hypothetically, if somebody called in and said there's a guy with a gun and he's, pointing it at people in the store, what would be the response? Like, is there a code? Like, is that a level one, level two, level three, yeah. or active shooter, or what do they call well, that? Well, if you're not shooting or anything, it wouldn't be that. They're just gonna say that they're, they would probably call it out as a disturbance, a man with a gun. They notify a supervisor on uh, Waco Police Department's policy. They notify a supervisor if there's a firearm or a weapon involved. A handgun, knife, doesn't matter if there's a weapon. Now, are you yourself a supervisor? Yes, sir. So, so what I'm trying to get at, I'm kind of leading you up to it, is I'm trying to encourage our members to, to call first and out of courtesy to let you know. That's a great thing. Because you don't have to. It's not required. But it's a courtesy thing, sure. And, and there's, it does exactly what we did today. We know that you're here. I send a message out to all the troops. I let them know there's a couple guys from Texas Open Carry out here. They've got rifles, they're getting Walmart. Walmart knows they're in here. So the response should be okay. tempered with that. Right. You know, not, oh my goodness, somebody's in there with a rifle and here we come. Right, yes, right. Sir. Well, we understand that this is not, you know, normal and every day at this yes, point sir. and we have to take baby steps yes, to get it to that point. And that's what we're trying to do is just take the, the proper baby steps and, yes, and do it the right way. That way we get the right, you know, our final mission in two years is open carry of handguns yep. and we got two years to do this and document all this that way we have something to present at the next legislative season right. and as long as everything goes good we'll we'll be in good shape right yeah personally myself me i was disappointed that it didn't make it through the legislature this session but well, would you agree as an officer that if citizens were legally openly carrying the rifles more often that that would help deter crime in an area sure statistically proven I, I like that you know you can argue it all that you want more, more guns is safer environment right polite society is an armed society that's right all right cool yes, you got any more questions mr that's Sneed? About it. i just wanted to thank you for coming out here and talking to us yeah, yeah thank, thank you thank, right, thank you very much good luck to you guys appreciate it all right later have a good day hey thank you so much yes sir and And that's that. Basically, uh, what we did on the way back from the Fort Worth event is call the manager of the store here 
and uh, talked to the manager of the store and asked her what the policy was and they said their 